Hi, I'm Jim Dilley, 6LG or YouTube Elmer with Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room slash studio here in Rockland, California. As I've been building my station in, in the afternoons, I would occasionally call CQ and uh, chat with someone for a while. One of the things that came up a lot uh, in talking to other guys was uh, mic gain settings and how they set the mic gain. I would often ask if they had used the ALC meter or what they had done to figure out where the mic gain should be. And in many cases, the guy I was talking to, the reason why I would bring it up is there was a lot of distortion. And that comes about because the mic gain is generally or the compression is generally up too high. So in this video, right after this break, I'm going to uh, play a recording that I made using one of the K3s as a transmitter and the other K3 as a receiver. Now, one of the things um, that made it kind of difficult is, is one transceiver is right next to the other. Um, the K3 does not want to be broad. It really kind of forces the signal to be narrow, so I had to try to force what I could out of it. But in looking at it with a pan adapter, it clearly gets to be um, quite a bit wider when I run the mic gain up. So let's take a look at that right after this. CQ calling CQ. Hello, CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. The most important part of setting mic gain is the metering. It doesn't matter where the control is set, what, uh, whether it's at 3, 5, 10,000, the setting of the mic gain with the control doesn't really matter. What does matter is uh, this meter, and I'll slide one over. This is an animation that, uh, that I did and, and not very well. But uh, what I'm suggesting here is that uh, as that meter moves, yeah, it needs to be kept within that blue line that I marked uh, in my graphic. The blue line is the ALC level. And the red needle should never go beyond that blue line. It needs to stay within the ALC limits. Now in your transceiver, the area that's marked ALC on, on your metering may be very different. It may be a series of bars. It may be uh, some kind of uh, graphical uh, indication. But on all transceivers, there's something usually called ALC, automatic level control. And what you want to do is keep the metering within those limits. And in fact, in this case where I'm showing my graphic and it goes up to sometimes almost full scale, that really is too high. It needs to stay within about the first half of that blue area uh, to be relatively clean. Also on most meters above that or in the same area is the compression, sometimes the labeled processor. As you can see on uh, that graphic, there's uh, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 30 dB of compression. The compression really should be kept within about 5 dB. So the meter in the ALC position needs to stay at about half scale and the compression needs to be about 5 dB. If you're in a pileup and you're calling DX, you may want to crank it up to 10 dB of compression, but keep the ALC within limits. Okay, so let's take a look at the video that I recorded. Uh, again, the audio and some of the graphics on, on the uh, pan adapter are a bit out of sync, um, as is some of the uh, 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 details that I put as an overlay to indicate where there was 15 to 20 dB of compression. Um, so let's take a look at that uh, at that video and see if I can play that now. So here's the video that I recorded and uh, the really uh, broad red bands are where I've got the compression up. As you can see, I've marked it 20 dB and other places where I had 5 to 10 dB. So let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. At, uh, 5 to 10 ALC, about half scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, turn the uh, mic gain down just a bit more. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn the compressor up. 
Uh, my gain is at uh, three, uh, and it's just no indication on AL. Uh, one bar on ALC. Turn uh, my gain up. My gain's on full. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. It's ALC, two bars. About uh, three, uh, 25% scale. Now let's turn the compression down. Uh, it's a 20 dB. That's about 50. That's about 15. One, two, three, four, five. That's about uh, 10 dB of compression. That's about 5 dB of compression. One, two, three, four, five. So notice the bandwidth now. Um, uh, one, two, W6LG. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, and again, I'm <laughs> one receiver next to the tra one transceiver next to the other transceiver. All right, I'm gonna turn the compression back up. Okay, compression at uh, 20 dB. One, two, three, four, five. My gain I didn't touch. Turn the compression down. One, two, three, four, five. Compression's at uh, 10. Now down to five. That's about five. Turn the mic gain all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, mic gain is all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, ALC is uh, full scale. All right, mic gain uh, uh, back down to uh, it's about one bar there. And uh, compression about um, uh, 5 dB or so. W6LG, one, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm a little off frequency. I can't hear it really well. So um, turn the processor up. Uh, there's uh, 20 D of processing. One, two, three, four, five. And you can still hear the mic gain's up too high. One, two, three, four, five. It's about uh, five dB of compression. Turn the mic gain down. One, two, three, four, five. Don't. Okay, so. Um what I'm trying to show here is what happens when the compression is turned up way too high. And I've done a bit of a split screen. I grabbed a little bit of uh, the video from it being too high and it being pretty close to correct. So in the upper one, the ALC is indicating about 25% of full scale. And the compression is uh, at 5 dB. Uh, the bottom one is the ALC is past the 100% uh, scale and the compression is at 20 dB. The actual bandwidth of uh, this lower one uh, was uh, on the order of 10 kilohertz, but I couldn't quite get it to display that way. So in the video, the upper one is maybe um, 3 kilohertz wide and the bottom one maybe 6 or 7. It's actually a lot wider. And that's a problem with having the miking up so high. It um, it becomes uh, just crazy broad. Now, all, another thing that comes up too um, once in a while, I would hear a, a guy check into a net and the net control might say, well, um, you sound great, you're five by nine, and yet uh, the guy is hugely distorted. And I think if you're net control, um, you have an obligation to the guys who check in to, to mention to them that, Maybe they want to go off frequency with another guy and uh, set the and set the mic in, especially if you've got someone in your group who's uh, experienced and understands how to how to set mic in. Again, using the metering and the transceiver. Look at the metering. That's how you set the mic in, not the control. The position of the control doesn't matter. With some microphones, they have low output. For example, this one, even with the mic in all the way up barely moves the needle because this is a very low output mic. In fact, I've got a, um, a thing called a, uh, I think it's called a cloud lifter in the circuit. I don't do any um, equalizing, but I had to put a preamp or an amp rather, a mic amp in the line before it gets to the uh, uh, computer because it just doesn't have enough, enough output. Even with the mic in on my computer at full, it still isn't enough output. So some mics like uh, condenser mics, electrets, 
have huge output. And when you hook one of those up to your transceiver and you look at the meter and the LC meter is already slamming up against the, the end, and you have to turn that one way down. It may be, in, on my K3, that's the case with a couple of them, uh, my miking is at the lowest possible setting to keep it within the limits, the ALC limits. With this mic, I've got to crank it all the way up to max because this doesn't have much output, this uh, Shure mic. Anyway, again, look at the metering. That's how you set the mic gain. And you're going to look at the ALC meter and the uh, metering for compression or processor. Keep the processing about 5 dB. If you're in a pileup calling DX and it's some guy in, in Europe and you're in the U.S., um, then 10 dB of clipping. But as you heard, when it gets to be 15 and 20, it sounds really nasty. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any question, questions or question, if you have a question, post that below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would like it if you did. Uh, give this video either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Vote either way. If you vote thumbs down, let me know why. Be curious to hear uh, what you like to see different. I'm Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California, your YouTube Elmer for Ham Radio Basics, saying 73, and thanks for watching. See you the next time. Bye-bye.